How is it going, everyone? Man, oh man, these Black Friday deals just do not stop. We've got more just absolutely ridiculous deals alive right now. Uh, some of the best that we've seen thus far in the last week or so ha since all of these deals have been going live. One deal in particular I'm going to gush about a little bit. You guys should be familiar with that. But some, scr uh, some great stuff all around. So uh, let's get right into it, man. I thought Sonic Frontiers' basement price was going to be $40. I had replied to a comment being like, Bro, I don't think you're gonna get it uh, better than 40 bucks just because somebody wanted it at 30. Well, guess you're gonna meet me in the middle because Amazon's got it right now, $35 on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. Now on Xbox Series X and Nintendo Switch, they actually had it down to $29, but on PlayStation, you're paying a little bit more of a premium. But hey, this game came out on November the 8th. It has not been two weeks since the game has come out and it is already down to $35. That is absolutely ridiculous. From a value standpoint, like, I just think this is an insane deal given the fact that this game just came out. As far as the game itself, obviously, as you guys might know, I have been much more receptive and higher on this game than a lot of other people. Maybe that's just because, as somebody that has played a lot of Sonic games, we are just used to utter garbage that, um, you know, a 7 out of 10, as a lot of people would say about this game, comes across like a 9 out of 10 because you're just used to stuff like Sonic and the Black Knight. No offense to Sonic and the Black Knight! But if I wanted to use a kick-ass sword, I would play Dragon, a Dragon Ball Z game and just play as Trunks the whole time. Future Trunks, that is. But nonetheless, Sonic Frontiers is a solid game. And I think at $35, it is a pretty good uh, pickup. There's a lot of content to the game. You've got a lot of different open levels. Is it clunky at times? Absolutely. There is some grotesque, like, just absolutely atrocious pop-in in this game. Like, no memes. Some of the pop-in in this game is just wild to me. I don't even know how it happens, given that we've got the power of the PS5 to work with. And, um, yeah, the pop-in is just absolutely atrocious. I've heard performance on the Nintendo Switch isn't that great either, so your mileage may vary on that. But as far as gameplay-wise and exploration and platforming, I think those elements are really well done. And again, a solid amount of content. Could understand you not wanting to pay $60 for it, but 35 given that it's 13 days old, I mean, this is just an insane deal that I would strongly, strongly recommend. Next up, we got Scarlet Nexus on PlayStation 4. $15 for this. This will get you a free upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version as well. This is a JRPG that I think, well, I personally believe it's super underrated, but looking at commercial numbers, it looks like Bandai Namco is incredibly happy with this game's sales numbers. Uh, it was available on Game Pass, so they probably got a pretty, uh, a pretty penny for that as well. And honestly speaking, the game is probably going to get a sequel. So $15 for this, again, I think it's a great game. Solid cast of characters. You do need to play through the game twice to get everything. You have two playable main characters in Yuito and Kasane. Um, I think most people prefer the Kasane route. I did Yuito first, and I enjoyed that no problem. Um, so a great soundtrack. Super underrated soundtrack. Like, JRPG soundtracks are usually, like, revered if they're really good. And I wouldn't say Scarlet Nexus' soundtrack is revered, but um, it's a really good soundtrack. Uh, some really soothing tracks as well. I know some people do give the game a little bit of a slight on the fact that there's not a lot of big cutscenes, rather the game is told uh, the story at least more of through a visual novel style the story is really good but uh, yeah do be mi uh, mindful of that $15 great buy on this would strongly recommend it Tales of Arise at $20 man this is a great price as well uh, this was one of my favorite games of uh, 2021 probably like my number two or maybe I would even go as far as to say number one I think Ratchet was my number one game but nonetheless Tales of Arise is excellent you've got a solid cast of characters even if it's not the most compelling main character in Tales uh, Tales history like I would probably put Yuri Luke and um yeah I would definitely put Yuri and Luke ahead of them but nonetheless the game is still really good and $20 for it is really solid a lot of content also will get you a free upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version another JRPG here near replicate version 1.2247 you guys get the idea 1999 while not as good as Nier Automata it's still an awesome game now here's a game where the soundtrack is revered and for all the right reasons uh Nier just knocks it out of the park every single time with the soundtrack and I even have music from this particular game on my phone that I listen to at the gym yes that's how much of a loser I am but nonetheless 1999 for this one is great very interesting story, a little bit hard to follow at times, but it really comes together nicely. A lot of twists and turns, and gameplay is pretty solid. While I wouldn't say it's automata solid, I would still say it's pretty darn good. So, $19.99 for that. 
think that's a good buy even though it's like what 18 months old at this point this is one that's really been holding up in price so whenever you can get it for this price i would say that's a solid pickup neo 2 at 9.99 just thought i'd give this a mention was recently a plus title so you might want to avoid it on that standpoint disco elysium the final cut 20 dollars for this i think is really good this is a game that's not for everyone it's a little bit slower paced it's more methodical kind of leaves you to your own devices but there's a lot of decision making a lot of replayability on this is a mature gritty story that uh again it's very narrative driven it's not gonna have a lot of action gameplay and it's not gonna be for everyone but aesthetically i think it's got some great presentation free ps5 upgrade on this one as well and 20 bucks i think that's a good price on the physical edition soul hackers 2 holy hell 29 dollars on this this game came out back in uh, at the end of august played through it had a great time with it it definitely had some issues i've said it before but some of the dungeon design is like absolutely atrocious um but that's only some of it a lot of it's really good the turn-based battle system is great ringo is one of my favorite main characters of the year and the whole cast is pretty likable the story is very interesting and it comes together pretty nicely uh by the end and a fantastic soundtrack here as well i always mention it but boss battle theme look it up it's a great track um, another one that I really enjoyed. So $29 is good. Again, I wouldn't say pay $60 for it, but half price of that, definitely a good pickup. Persona 5 Royal Standard Edition. Boy, oh boy, PlayStation 5 version of this game. $29. It's P5 Royal. There's a reason why this is revered as one of the best games of all time, point blank. I mean, I think it's got like a 94 on Metacritic or something insane like that. $29 for it, I think, is quite good, so definitely go check that out. It is a game that's a massive undertaking, well over 100 hours, so clear up some weekends, clear up the backlog, or just shove this to the front of your backlog and jump on it right away because uh, you won't be playing a much else for a while. If you're the kind of person that focuses on one game at a time, I'm more of a juggler myself, but nonetheless... Uh, $29 for P5R, great pickup there. Lost Judgment at $15, whenever I can give this a mention. It's the PS5 version this time around as well. Just an insane deal for Lost Judgment. Strong recommendation here. I would recommend you to play Judgment. That's on sale for $19.99 right now. Check that out, the PS5 version of that, and then you can jump into Lost Judgment. But great titles, a lot of content, a lot of varied content as well with varied gameplay. Uh, those games are just excellent, so strong recommendations, especially Lost Judgment at $15 is just a nutty deal. So, uh, yeah, $15 for that is excellent. So, that's gonna do it for me. Again, a lot of great stuff. Sonic Frontier is definitely taking the cake right now, but I do imagine that it is gonna go out of stock. Fingers crossed by the time this video is uploaded, the deal is still live and you guys can go check it out, but that is just an insane deal but that is gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below a lot of great stuff and man it's only monday friday's still quite a ways away and we're getting some insane stuff already but uh as always, thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads. And we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.